Triple kill, bitch. <laughs> Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It is your host, Ali or Cringe Ali, whatever floats your boat. And today we are here with a new controller, a Struff controller to be exact, the Vintage 2 and new Astros 2. So as you guys can see, we're about to be hitting some bangers. I already have a few clips as you guys saw in the beginning of this video. As you guys saw in the beginning of this video, those clips were hit with the new stuff. I was breaking it in last night and that's what I hit. I hit some bangers. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this video. If you do, make sure to drop a like down below and let me know how you feel about this. And let me know how you feel about my new controller and new headset. What do you think? And yes, the headset did come with the mix amp, of course. I could not miss out on the mix amp. That is most important. I'm listening to my favorite jams right now. Let's get into this game real quick, show you guys what this stuff can really do but as you guys can see so far so good with this controller i just love the way it feels and love the movements and the speed so for a better idea for you guys to kind of understand i'm gonna go ahead and just separate myself from the game real quick as you guys can see right here i have the four pedals on the back the first pedal right here is circle the second pedal right here is jumping and then i have the third pedal right here for swapping out guns and then once I shoot and I'm out of ammo and I can't reach that square button, I go ahead and hit that bottom one. It reloads and it also keeps my thumb on the stick. Now you're probably wondering, Ali, what's your stick at? Because you used to play stick and move. Now my stick is on slide now, back to tactical. The cool thing about this controller is that it not only has the buttons on the back, but it also has the grip on the side and it also has two buttons right here. Those two buttons right here, I have them set up to be jump on the right one and then on the left one, that side two. That one I have it on left bumper, far left bumper, that way it swaps out. Now, once you did a scuff nowadays, back on the PlayStation 3, you didn't have to set up anything or do anything with the computer. But nowadays, you have to actually connect it to your computer, set up the button layouts and map the buttons the way you want to. Back in the day i used to have a ps3 controller and it was a scuff as well all right i'm leaving this lobby i can't do this nope not doing that i don't care for the win i don't care for the map i definitely don't care for these players i'm done with now i know so far i've only talked about the controller and i haven't talked about the headset and how i feel about the headset going from a beats 
headset to something that's way more advanced something that's actually designed for this game the astro a40s with the mix amp so far so good i've loved the feel of it i've loved the way it sounded and i've loved the fact that i can play my music in the background while playing the game even though i haven't done it much often because of call of duty having to hear the footsteps is one of the most important things in the game but it's also helped me hear the difference between my teammates footsteps and my enemies footsteps to tell the difference and to be able to hit some clips to be able to turn on people and be sneaky with it the Call of Duty Battle Pass is almost done. We only have a day and 21 hours left, and I finished the whole thing. I'm really excited and looking forward to the next season, but I don't know what updates they're going to bring back with it. I heard that Russ is coming back into the mix, which is going to be exciting, but I don't know how they're going to do it with 6v6 or even, you know, 10v10. It's going to be a mess. Your spawns on shipment were awful enough to tell us that if we were to have another small map that small, it would be very difficult for us to play it. The way we want to so i don't know how it's gonna work out with 6v6 and i really really hope they don't put it into 2v2 because i don't think i'll be playing that 2v2 but i will be 1v1 in people back in the old days we will be 1v1 in bringing back the old days back in the old days we used to do 1v1s and then last kill trick shot on that map all the time so i might bring back a little bit of trick shotting as well i have no idea just yet we'll figure that out once rust comes out we'll figure that out once rust comes out into the mix and once they put it in and see how it plays out What the fuck, game? Come on, how is that a hit marker to his back? I literally dislocated his spinal cord. I am having a little bit of trouble and difficulty playing with this controller just for the small reason that it's like this. So if you guys don't know, the PlayStation controllers, the normal PlayStation controller that I used to play on is like this, where the both thumbsticks are on the bottom. Now this one is kind of like an Xbox controller, but it, what it does, but what it also does is it kind of fills up my hand so that way I don't have to worry about a lot. Yeah, but as you guys can see, it's really, really smooth for me to go on streets now. And it's really, really easy without having a hard time trying to run and trying to struggle and trying to, you know, and then have my controller like stutter on me. I am having a hard time with the aim button though, because it's a struggle to reach without having to click the button on the side. Other than that, and wrapping my fingers around the controller, then I should be fine for the most part. He got a shoddy. 725 to be exact. How do you have a chopper gunner, bro? We have literally been destroying your team into halves. That makes no sense to me. All I'm trying to do is make a great video, get a couple of highlights, and this dude decides to get a chopper gunner. What? Where was he? But I, I, what? You can get up there? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. And thank you guys so much for the support lately. I really, really do appreciate it. It's been so amazing. I'm exhausted. I'm about to head to bed and then wake up and edit this video for Monday. Let's get this bread. You guys have a nice day. Later. Later.